What's up, YouTube? Uh, just a quick video here. I wanted to just show you guys how to set up the PWM box. So <clears throat> with my last box, I actually had a loose connection I didn't know about. And I guess when you have loose connections with electrical, it can fry and overheat. So that's what happened. So this is all a new box here. Um, this is all the same. This is the same. The um, connections here were the ones that fried up, uh, which were the connections to the motor, actually. So I uh, just wanted to walk you guys through how to do this. So here's the box. Here, this is the cover. It just is attached with two screws. You take it off. This whole panel actually just comes out. This metal is just the case for it. Cut a box for the switch, and you have to cut, drill a little hole for the turn dial to uh, fit into. That's going to control your speed. So this actually goes on to the end of that. In order to get this switch through the top of the box, you have to pull this switch out here and then uh, put it through um, and then plug it back in. Um, and I actually also have this clear silicone. I siliconed um, just the bottom so that it's waterproof. Um, this PW, PWM box also uh, is different than the other one. It is cheaper, probably like 20 bucks cheaper. It does not have a fan. I know a lot of y'all were wondering what's the point of the fan if the PWM box is enclosed. And I never had any problems with it until I had that loose connection. Um, the loose connection was actually, um, it was one of these on the other one. It was, must have been one of the motor ones. So what I recommend, what I'm gonna do from now on is every time I go out, I'm gonna make sure these are tight. Um, these right here actually, uh, go on to this. So you unscrew this screw, take it off, put the little um, terminal thing on the screw, screw it back down, and you're good. Just make sure you put the right uh, positive and negative to the right motor positive and negative and power positive and negative. Uh, some other tools you'll need. Uh, you'll need a just a Phillips head. Uh, I had these long nose pliers. Um, you can use these to actually get in and to pull things out if you want. I didn't really need them for that. I used these actually to crimp down these right here. If you can see that copper wire in there. Um, you'll need something to strip the wire. Um, I have these kind of self-adjusting ones. They're pretty nice. They're not really necessary, but um, you can also use something like this. These little rubber black pieces. This is heat, heat shrink tubing. Um, and so I needed to heat those. So you'll need some kind of lighter or match, but they did not come tight. They're all loose, so you need to heat those. Just be careful because this really thin wire, which can damage you easy. So be careful with that. Uh, I guess most important part. Uh, I left. I have a link to this um, on multiple videos, but this is the male-female quick connect. Um, super nice, super easy. I what I did is I took the end there and I just cut it, and then I attached those terminals. The <clears throat> the one I ordered. I think it's like 15 bucks or something. It actually comes with two, so that's a spare. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all put together. And this is what it looks like all hooked up. So I just have to put the lid on, um, put the, uh, the switches in and we're good to go. And then you just use, you open these up and you just quick connect them in. Not too bad, but there you go. So here's what it looks like, all closed, set up. Uh, 
got these L brackets so I can mount it on my kayak. Uh, I mount it with these little things, these little black spinnies. They go uh, on a T bolt on there to tighten onto the rail mount. You just got the battery and the motor. You got the forward reverse, and you got the uh, the throttle. Okay, there it is. If you have any questions, uh, send me a comment. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. It's a little intimidating at first, uh, just because you got all the wires, but it's not too bad. Thanks for watching, guys.